Hey Kid City, we sure do miss you guys. I hope that you've had a great summer. We've prepared a lesson today about not being afraid because God is always with us. So let's go worship. Hey! 
buddy. It's time. No! You weren't afraid last week. I am now. Pretty please. No! Oh, hey there, fellow Vikings. I'm Herbert, and I'm here once again to talk about how to train your emotions. Unfortunately, my emotion isn't being very cooperative today. I'm scared. He's dealing with fear. I'm sure all of you have dealt with fear too, haven't you? Fear, fear is scary. Will you quit with that? There's nothing to be afraid of out here. Yes, there is. You know, when we are afraid, it can almost be crippling. Fear makes us freeze up. It keeps us from taking risks. That, that's not a bad thing. No, not always. But fear can keep us from good things too, like making new friends, or trying a hobby, or coming out on this stage and talking about fear. Give me one good reason I should come out there. Because God is in control. He's always in control. We don't have to fear anything, not anything at all. Not new places, not people, not thunderstorms, not the dark. Ah, why did you have to bring up the dark? Be ah. Because you don't need to be afraid of the dark. God is in control, even in the dark. In the dark? Yes. And in thunderstorms? Yes. What about on airplanes? Of course. And gym class? Yes. What about parties my parents take me to with no kids and nobody I know? Yeah. What am I so afraid of? When I'm afraid, I just can remember that God is in control, and I won't be afraid. That's the spirit. Wow, I feel so alive. I'm going to go bungee jumping. Hey, wait a minute now. We, we should talk about that before you do that. No. Well, like he said, when I'm afraid, I can remember that God is in control. But don't go jump bungee jumping. You I'm don't going. have you don't have hands. I have wings. Well then why do you need to go bungee jumping? Cause you can fly. I'm still going. Okay then. In the How to Train Your Dragon series, one of the things the Vikings must overcome is fear. Because for centuries, the Vikings had lived in fear of dragons because dragons were very destructive. They wrecked their villages and ruined their lives with their sheer power and their fiery breath. No Viking would dare approach a dragon, a fear of being trampled or crushed or eaten. Hiccup was hardly the bravest of Vikings. He was the least likely of the Vikings to even try to fight a dragon, much less tame one. But with Hiccup got to know Toothless, he discovered he had nothing to fear. He was able to teach his fellow Vikings that they didn't need to fear the dragons either. They could tame them. They could become allies. They could make the dragons their friends. One of the things we like about Hiccup is how much he's like us. He's not big, he's not strong, he's not a confident warrior. He's just an average guy. He has worries and fears, just like us. And when we see he hiccup, he overcomes his fear of dragons. It gives us hope, hope that we can overcome fears that we have too. There are many things that can make us afraid. When we're kids, we're afraid of things like the dark and, and getting lost or, or maybe animals. But as adults, we fear things like uh, losing our jobs or, or not having enough money to pay the bills or, you know, worried about our kids if they get sick or if they're having a hard time in school. But I have some good news for you. 
Whatever your fears are, there is a way to overcome them. All we need to do is remember that God is in control and that he loves us. We will see in today's story that there's no need to fear anything if we know Jesus. So we're going to read Luke chapter 8 verses 22 through 25. One day Jesus said to his disciples, let's go, let's go over to the other side of the lake. So they got into a boat and left. As they sailed, Jesus fell asleep. A storm came down on the lake. It was so bad that the boat was about to sink. They were in great danger. The disciples went and woke Jesus up. They said, Master, Master, we're going to drown. He got up and ordered the wind and the huge waves to stop. The storm quieted down. It was completely calm. Where is your faith? He asked the disciples. They were amazed and full of fear. They asked one another, Who is this? He commands even the winds and the waves, and they obey him. The disciples of Jesus were experienced with boats. They had been fishermen for quite some time, and they no doubt knew what it was like to steer a boat in a storm. But this storm must have been a bad one. The waves were crashing against the boat, the wood and the boards were beginning to creak, and they were pretty certain soon the boat would sink. So in a moment of desperation, they woke up Jesus. And with just one word, Jesus calmed the storm. He showed them that he was in control and they had no reason to fear. Jesus is God's son. And in, when we're afraid, we can chase away those fears by remembering he is in control. It isn't always easy to remember God when we're afraid. Oftentimes we're focused on our fear and we lose sight of God. But the sooner we start to pray and ask God to be near us, the sooner we'll find relief from our fears. Now, fear is not always a bad thing. A good healthy fear or respect for dangerous things like a hot stove or wild animals is good. We should be cautious around things that could hurt us. And we should also make sure we're concerned for our safety by making sure we wear bike helmets and a seatbelt when we're in the car. But fear can also paralyze us and it can keep us from doing the things that God's called us to. God doesn't want our fear to keep us from doing things. God wants us to remember how Jesus calmed the storm. He wants us to remember that he is the God of all creation and that he loves us and that God can ease our fears and that God will always go with us. So I want you to remember when you're afraid that God is in control. And one of my favorite Bible verses is Psalms 56, three. And it simply says this, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. So when you guys are afraid or you have something that you're just unsure of, just remember that God's in control and just remember that Bible verse, Psalms 56, three, when I'm afraid, I put my trust in you. Hey, Kid City, it's time to close in prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day, and I pray that we won't be afraid or scared or any of that. Amen. Bye, Kid City. Fist bumps. Kick it. Bob, why are you licking me? Well, Kit Kat was doing it. <laughs>